high there. We are taking a correction to yesterday's exercise. And the first one is the angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point 42 meters away from its base. The angle of elevation of the top of a tower from a point 42 meters away from its base on level ground is 36 degrees. Find the height of the tower. That's a piece of cake. And now let's see how that's supposed to be done. You can have a tower this way. This is a tower. And this is a point <coughs> 42 meters away from its base. This point is 42 meters away from the <coughs> from the foot of the tower. And the angle of elevation is the angle of elevation is this. And it is 36 degrees. Now we need to find the height of the tower. I want to call that H. The height is ten, the tower is ten perpendicular to the ground. So in this right angle triangle, we can see that tan 36 degrees is equal to opposite, which is the height over adjacent, and that's 42. Now when you cross multiply, you have H equals, because this is of course over 1, H equals 42 tan 36 degrees. H equals 42 times 36 degrees and that's and that's times 36 degrees that's 42 times 0 0.7265 which is 0 0.7265 and that's 30.513 meters which is approximately 30.51 meters therefore the height the height of the tower The height of a tower is 30.51 meters. Now let's see number two. Question two says the angle of elevation of the sun is 45 degrees. A tree has a shadow of 12 meter, a shadow 12 meters long. Find the height of a tree. Angle of elevation is 45 degrees. A tree, a tree, a tree has a shadow 12 meters long. Alright. So Let's make this the tree. Or this time I can I can put the tree on the side. If this is a tree, and this represents its shadow, which is 12 meters in length. This is gonna be the yeah. We join that to make a triangle, and the tree is standing perpendicular to the ground, so this is a right angle. And the height of a tree can be h here and the angle of elevation of the top of a tree is 40 the angle of elevation of the top of a tree is 45 degrees that means somebody is looking at the top of a tree from this point and the angle which is and the angle at that point is 45 degrees which is the angle which is line of sight makes with the horizontal so we can find h from that that's also a very simple one tan 45 degrees equals opposite which is h over adjacent and that's 12. this means tan 45 when we cross multiply h will be equal to 12 tan 45 degrees which is 12 times tan 45 degrees is 1 and that's 12 meters therefore the height of the tree 
the height of the tree the height of the tree is 12 meters now we want to go to angle angles of depression and we're taking examples angles of the dep- angle of depression let me just say angle of depression now example one Example one, from the top of a building, 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 building, 15 meters high, From the top of a building, 50 meters high, the angle, the angle of depression, this simply means somebody is on top of that building and looking at something on the ground. The angle of depression of a car, looking at a car on the ground is 55 degrees. The angle of depression of a car is 55 degrees. Find find the distance find the distance of the car find the distance of the car from find the distance of the car from the foot From the foot of the building. Find the distance of a car from the foot of the building. And that's it very simply. Let's solve that. Solution. From the top of a building, 50 meters high, let me make this building. Its height is it its height is 50 meters. Now the angle of depression of a car, if this is the car for example, and somebody is looking at that's a car, and somebody is looking at the car from the top of this building. Somebody is looking at this car from the top of a building. Building is popping, that's a level ground, and this is going the angle which the angle which that line of sight makes with the horizontal here is the angle of depression, and it is 55 degrees. If, for example, the person is here, so the angle is 55 degrees, the building is standing perpendicular to the ground, and that's 50 degrees. So that if that's 55 degrees, you can have, if I want to label, let me label the diagram, top of building, foot of building, and point where the person is P. Now, so here, I know that this line is perpendicular to, this is perpendicular to this. So that means this will also be 55 degrees, alternate angles. This angle and this angle are alternate angles. And there and, and alternate angles are equal. So in triangle PTF tan in triangle PTF tan fifty five degrees is equal to opposite, which is fifty over adjacent, which is PF. So when we cross multiply this is over one we have pf times tan 55 degrees equals 50 and that means p 
PF, the length of line PF, distance PF is equal to 50 divided by tan 55 degrees. And you remember when the tangent is the denominator, we represent it by the tangent of its complement. So 50 divided by tan 55 is the same as 50 multiplied by tan 35 degrees. And that means 50 times tan 35. You check that on your table of tangents. That's 0 0.7002. And when you multiply times 50, that's going to be 35 point zero one meters therefore the distance of the car from the foot of a building the distance of the car the distance of the car from the foot of the building from the foot of the building from the foot of a building is <clears throat> the distance of a car from the foot of a building is 35 point is 35.01 meters 35.01 meters so that's it that's our first example now let's take a second example Example two. Example two. Yes. <clears throat> I want to make th that should be a question on an angle of depression to find the height of the building. Okay. Find the height. Find the height of the building. Find the height of the building in the figure below. In the figure below. To the nearest or the building shown below let's say find the height of a building shown below to the nearest to the nearest meter to the nearest meter and this is it uh, you have it this way Let's just make it something pretty simple like that. That's just a sketch, you know. And this is the level ground. This is building and this is level ground. This is the horizontal plane. While this is the line of sight. This is the angle of depression, obviously, 54 degrees. 54 degrees. And the distance from the foot of the building to this point is 60 meters. So, we can make a right angle triangle out of that. That's solution. You can make a right angle triangle out of that diagram. This represents the height of a building. This represents the line of sight of a person who's looking at the ground from the top of a building. And that's the horizontal ground. This is going to be a right angle. This is 60 meters. And this, which is the horizontal plane, 
and this which is the horizontal makes an angle 54 degrees yeah and there's an angle 64 degrees between the line of sight and the horizontal so of this is parallel to this that means this will also be 54 degrees they are alternate angles let h be the height of a building tan 54 degrees is equal to opposite which is h in this case over adjacent which is 60 and now we can do cross multiplication one times h is h and 60 times tan 54 degrees is 60 times 54 degrees and that means 60 times now the tangent of 54 degrees tan 54 that's one point three seven six four which is the same as one point three seven six four times sixty and that's eighty two point five eight four which is approximately or they said to the nearest meter which is equal to eighty three meters therefore the height of a building the height of the building is eighty three meters and that's it very 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 simply that's it very very simply now um okay so go through all of this and i'll send you go through all of this i'm sure you understand everything it's quite simple and we'll take maybe a few more examples and then an exercise in our next class thank you very much and see you in the next class